Wasatch SoftRip allows you to utilize the barcode system of your table cutter to automate your cutting workflow. Select the unit you would like to use for your table cutter and click the Print Setup button. In the Print Setup window, select your table cutter model. For this type of workflow, your table cutter must be able to read barcodes. In this video, we'll be using a zoomed table cutter. Click the Edit button next to the Imaging Configuration drop-down menu. Click the Properties button in the Properties window that opens. Edit your naming convention options and make any other selections that are available with your specific table cutter. When you're done, click OK. Now click the Browse button and create a new destination folder. This is where the cut paths that SoftDrip generates will be sent. Click OK until you are prompted to save a new imaging configuration. Name your new imaging configuration and click OK. When you get back to the Print Setup window, click OK. Now, select the unit you would like to use for your printer and click the Print Setup button. In the Setup window, select your printer model, imaging configuration, and physical connection. Select any other options that you'll need when you print. Now, configure the cutting options you would like to use. If you're using a file that already has a cut path associated with it, check the box next to Process Cutting Paths. If you want to generate a rectangular cutting path around each image, check the box next to Outline Jobs. Now, check the box next to Cutting Registration Marks and select the registration mark for your device. Set your options in the Table Cutting Marks window and click OK. From the Cutting Unit drop-down menu, select the unit you'll be using for your table cutter. If the box next to Immediate is active and you want to automatically output one cut copy to your destination folder, select this option. If the Immediate option is available, but you do not select it, you will need to manually manage your cut path from SoftRip's Cues tab. Once you've selected all your cutting options, click OK. Open the File Browser and drag your image into the Job window. If you're working with an image that already has a cut path associated with it, and you checked the Process Cutting Paths box in the Setup screen, you'll see blue marching lines around your image. If you need to create a cut path within SoftRip, click on the Trace tab. When you've made all your adjustments, click Trace. You will see blue marching lines appear around your image. You can add your job to the layout window and print multiple cut jobs at once, or you can simply rip and print your image. When all your jobs have been printed, remove the media from your printer and load it onto your cutter in accordance with your cutter's documentation. Once the barcode on the print is scanned, your table cutting software will automatically select the correct corresponding cut file. Soft Rips Table Cutting option provides a number of options for customizing your workflow. You can add a barcode prefix of up to two digits so multiple rips with multiple print units can produce unique barcodes for every print unit on every system. You can print barcodes that are stretched along one axis so they are more readable but don't require any extra margin. And, all color names are passed to the output file, which the table cutting system can then flexibly translate into such things as changes to the cutting tool. These customizable tools allow you to fully automate your table cutting workflow, increase productivity, and minimize mistakes.